In this video, I'm taking a look at HABridge, which is a free Java application that emulates the Philips Hue Bridge. It also connects to Logitech, Vera, and the Nest Thermostat. It's an incredibly useful application because the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home both natively support uh, Philips Hue. So even if you don't have Philips Hue, you can use HABridge to emulate and connect to other devices. So for instance, using the URL calls, I can issue calls to Vera as well as things like my Sony TV and my Pioneer receiver. So for instance, my Sony TV supports HTTP commands, so I can create a device called input1 or input2 and then issue the command to the Sony TV. And then Alexa can be used to activate those commands. Alexa, turn on input Alexa, turn on input3. Okay and it can switch inputs. Alexa, turn on input 2. Okay. Same thing also works for the Google Home. Hey Google, turn on input 3. Sure, turning input 3 on. Another example of HA Bridges capability is its ability to pass through a value. So for instance, lighting you'd pass through a dim value, but I'm using that with my Pioneer receiver through Telnet and a simple Python script to control the volume. So I can say something like Alexa, Set the receiver to 30. Okay. Alexa, set the receiver to 40. Okay. Alexa, turn audio off. Okay. Audio off is sending a mute command to the TV, which sends it back and forth to the receiver. Over on the receiver, you can see the volume going up and down as I issue the command to Alexa. Alexa. Set the receiver to 20. Okay. Alexa, set the receiver to 50. Okay. So if you happen to have a compatible Pioneer receiver, uh, go to the description and I posted a link to my Python code. For Vera Hubs, HA Bridge makes it very quick and easy because it automatically detects all your devices and scenes so you can quickly get them voice controlled. Hey Google, turn off the dining room. You got it, turning the dining room off. Alexa, dining room to 10%. Okay. Hey Google, living room to 20%. Sure, setting the living room brightness to 20%. Hey Google, living room off. Sure, turning the living room off. Alexa, turn on the dining room. Okay. Alexa, turn on the living room. Okay. Additionally, the HA Bridge app is constantly under development, and a week ago they released a new beta with functionality such as the ability to add in a delay as well as filter IPs. So, a delay is obvious, you can have a light turn off or on after a certain time, and the filtering allows you to do things like only allow one echo to issue a command versus multiple echoes. So for instance, your bedroom can issue a command, but the living room echo can't issue a command. So if you're looking for a relatively simple way to enable voice control with either the Amazon Echo or Google Home, check out HABridge. It's a free open source Java app that runs on Windows, Mac, and even Linux single board computers like this Odroid C2 or Raspberry Pi. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to check the description for more links and info.